But let me say there's a difference between reading your Bible and studying your Bible. There's people, and I know some Christians for 30-something years, every day they read their Bible on this pattern that they have. Right. You know, read the Bible through in a year. Nothing wrong with that. That's great. That's a great place to start. That's great to have, to have that uh, uh, a daily Bible program. But you know what they do? They do it just like it's like take my three vitamins, take my three vitamins, and then they go live their life. They never think about it. They never let it come in and, and, and change it. And so it's like, okay, I've got today's date. I've got to read these verses. All right, check. Boom, got that done. No, 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 there's a, there's a reason you're reading it. Yeah. And sometimes when you're in your Bible reading program, you might have to just stop and say, you know what, I can't finish today because I need to figure out what this verse is saying. Right. Is this telling me something? Is this something I need to work on in my life? And you know, it's amazing how you can have people who for 30 years every day read their Bible and they have no discernment. Yeah. And you're like, are you even thinking? It's like sitting in church and not listening. Anybody ever do that? I know you would <laughs> never do that. Right, But you know, at the end of the message, you're like, what did he say? <laughs> Another example of that would be you're driving to work, and you get to work, and you don't remember the drive there. Anybody ever have that happen to you? Can, you can admit to that. We won't laugh at you for that. We've all done that. You're like, man, I don't even remember stopping at the red lights. Were there red lights? Anybody ever have that happen? You're just like, how did I get? You did it, but you didn't think about it. Well, you can read your Bible on a schedule and be faithful like clockwork and still lack discernment because you're not allowing it to come in and you're not processing it and you're not studying it and you're not listening. When you open up that book, pray and say, Lord, please give me some wisdom this morning. Amen. I know there's got to be a verse here that will help me. Help me, Lord. And you begin to read seeking for wisdom. That's when you find it. When you look for it, you'll find it. And so the Word of God brings discernment. You say, well, why don't we study the Bible then? Well, because much study is weariness of the flesh, the Bible says. Anybody ever, any of the preachers out there, when you get called on to preach, you're kind of like, at first, you're like deer in a headlight. Yeah, I'll have one ready. Because you know what kind of study is involved in it, don't you? And you're like, yeah, what am I going to preach? <laughs> you know? You're committing to a message that you don't have in your head yet, right? Anybody ever had that happen? And you're like, oh, no, what am I? And now you're at home reading your Bible. Lord, I need a message. Lord, I need it. And you're studying. And then finally, when you get one, you come up like, yes, I got a message. And you're like, wow, that was a lot of work. Well, that's why people don't do it. It's a lot of work. You know, how about we study our Bible not to preach a message to other people? How about we study a message to preach to ourselves? Lord, I'd like to learn this subject as, a, as our family, as an individual.